Greetings to the viewers of this video. In this video, we are going to see about tumor targeting. Let's first dive into organ targeting. Organ targeting is a method of drug delivery in which the drug is specifically directed to a desired organ or tissue. Organ targeting is an efficient way to deliver drugs and can help to reduce systemic toxicity. Now, let's move on to cellular targeting. This approach involves using drug delivery systems to target specific cell types in the body for the delivery of therapeutic molecules. Cellular targeting systems exploit the differences between healthy and diseased cells to achieve optimal drug delivery. Another type of targeting, the drug is intracellular targeting. Intracellular targeting is a method of drug delivery in which drugs are specifically directed to cells and tissues of interest to achieve a desired therapeutic effect. This method of drug delivery involves the use of nanocarriers or polymers to deliver drugs across cell membranes, allowing for the selective targeting of specific cells and tissue types. On the other hand, we have two mechanisms to target the drug to tumors. Active targeting for tumor drug delivery. Active targeting utilizes the body's natural mechanisms to achieve a desired therapeutic effect by actively targeting drugs to cells and tissues of interest. It allows delivery of drugs to specific cells, tissue, and organs in the body. By using ligands to bind to receptors on target cells, drugs can be delivered to the desired location with greater specificity and efficacy. In addition to the active targeting, there is another one called passive targeting for tumor drug delivery. Passive targeting is a method of drug delivery in which drugs are not actively directed to cells and tissues of interest, but instead diffuse into the target area. This method relies on the natural physiological differences between cancer cells and healthy cells to deliver the drug more efficiently to the desired destination. The accumulation is based on the size, charge, and hydrophobicity of the molecule as well as local blood flow and tissue permeability. Now, let us see various strategies to target the drug to the tumor cell. First of all is the nanoparticles for tumor drug delivery. Nanoparticle drug delivery utilizes nanoparticles to transport therapeutic agents to targeted cancer cells. This system is designed to maximize drug efficacy while reducing the risk of toxicity to healthy cells, allowing for more effective cancer treatments. Nanoparticles can be designed to selectively target cancer cells by exploiting differences in their biology, such as surface markers or receptor expression. They can be engineered to carry drugs, imaging agents, or other therapeutic agents directly to the cancer cells. Furthermore, the second strategy is using liposomes for tumor targeting. Bubble-like nanostructures composed of lipids, liposomes, are an efficient drug delivery system to target tumors. The lipids bind to the tumor cell membrane allowing the drug to be released directly into the cell. Now, let us see the example of nanoparticle and liposome that are used in tumor targeting. Firstly, nanoparticle. Abraxane, which is a nanoparticle formulation of the chemotherapy drug, paclitaxel. In this case, the paclitaxel is encapsulated in albumin nanoparticles, which are about 130 nanometers, in size. These nanoparticles can accumulate in the tumor tissue and release the drug over time. The second one is liposome. Doxal, which is a liposomal formulation of the chemotherapy drug, doxorubicin. The liposomes are small nanoparticles, typically around 100 nanometers, in size, and, are designed to accumulate, in the tumor tissue, due to its leaky vasculature, and, the enhanced permeability, and, retention effect, EPR. Once the liposomes reach the tumor, they release the doxorubicin, which can kill cancer cells. The other useful method is, the incorporation of prodrugs, for tumor targeting. Prodrugs are inactive drug molecules that are converted into their active form, specifically within cancer cells. This can be achieved by using enzymes that are present only in cancer cells to activate the prodrug. Drugs designed to be activated in the target site can be used to increase the specificity and efficacy of treatment. Let's see the real-time example for prodrug for tumor targeting. 
Aeronautican, which is used to treat various types of cancer, including colorectal cancer, and small cell lung cancer. Aeronautican is a prodrug that is converted in the body to its active metabolite, SN38, which interferes with the ability of cancer cells to divide and grow. Aeronautican is a topoisomerase inhibitor that works by preventing the enzyme topoisomerase from repairing damaged DNA in cancer cells. This causes the cancer cells to undergo cell death, apoptosis, and can help to shrink or slow the growth of tumors. Aeronautican is often used in combination with other chemotherapy drugs to treat advanced or metastatic cancers. Then let's see about immunoliposums. Immunoliposums are nanoscale vesicles composed of a lipid bilayer and an antibody used to target and deliver drugs to tumor cells. The antibody binds to the tumor cell surface, allowing the encapsulated drug to be released inside the cell. An example of an immunoliposome for tumor targeting is doxal. Doxorubicin hydrochloride, liposome injection, which is an FDA-approved liposomal formulation of the chemotherapy drug doxorubicin. The drug doxal is targeted to tumors by the attachment of polyethylene glycol, PEG, to the liposome surface, which prolongs the circulation time of the liposomes in the bloodstream and enhances accumulation in tumors due to the enhanced permeability and retention EPR effect. Moving on to the gene therapy for tumor targeting. Gene therapy is a method of altering the genetic material of cells to treat or prevent diseases. In tumor targeting, gene therapy is used to target cancer cells and induce tumor-specific apoptosis and cell death. An example for the gene therapy method is CAR T-cell therapy. It involves modifying a patient's own T-cells, a type of immune cell, to express chimeric antigen receptors, CARS, on their surface. These CARS are designed to recognize and bind to specific proteins or antigens that are expressed on the surface of tumor cells. To create CAR T-cells for a specific patient, T-cells are collected from the patient's blood and genetically modified using a viral vector to express the CARS that recognize the target antigen. The modified CART cells are then expanded in the laboratory and infused back into the patient. Once in the body, the CAR T cells recognize and bind to tumor cells expressing the target antigen, leading to their destruction. This approach has been successfully used to treat certain types of blood cancers such as acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, and non-Hodgkin lymphoma, NHL. The next is monoclonal antibodies for tumor targeting. Monoclonal antibodies are proteins that can be used to target and bind to tumor cells, allowing for the delivery of drugs to specific sites. These antibodies can be modified to increase their effectiveness in targeting tumors and can be used in combination with other drugs to maximize the therapeutic effect. Monoclonal antibody for tumor. One example is trastuzumab, which is used to treat breast cancer that is HER2 positive. Trastuzumab works by binding to HER2 receptors on the surface of breast cancer cells, which inhibits their growth and division. By targeting HER2 positive breast cancer cells specifically, trastuzumab can help to improve treatment outcomes and reduce the risk of cancer recurrence. It is often used in combination with chemotherapy for the treatment of early stage or metastatic breast cancer. Finally, moving on to the conclusion. The potential of tumor targeting drug delivery systems is immense, and the research continues to be promising. The effectiveness of tumor targeting drug delivery systems is highly dependent on the specific drug and the particular tumor. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed learning about tumor targeting drug delivery systems. Thank you for taking your time to explore this topic.